Early access provided by EA Fire Monkeys, presented by EA Game Changers. Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to walk you through all of the daily goals in the Wellspring Library Sim Springs event. This is the full flot in Sim Springs, so you're pretty familiar with it by now. The full flot is a community lot, so we have a little tutorial to complete before we can begin the event. And the first goal is to ask about the lot, so you need to bring a sim to Wellspring Library and click on Johnny Zest to ask about lot. This is a community lot rather than a house lot, so your sims can't live here, but they can still visit. Also on a community lot, items from one section of the home store can be placed for free. So this is the view the council contribution category, which is the free category. At Wellspring Library, it is the living room section. So open buy mode and here it shows you a pop up to say that the living room section is the free one. So we can see on the living room section, it is yellow and flashing between free and living room. And you can see all the items here don't have prices on them, so you can place them all in the community lot for free. Next task is place a council contributed object. So head back to the living room section and place one of the items. Important things to note are when you store an item that you've placed from the living room section in the community lot, it will just disappear. So if you stored it in your inventory, it wouldn't be in your inventory because you haven't paid for it. In reality, it would be given back to the council. Also, if you have an item in your inventory in the living room section that you want to place in this build, you can place it and then it will still be in your inventory to place in Simtown because you've already paid for that item, so you won't lose it by placing it in this build. It will just place another version of that item. Final task is start a renovation plan task. So this is where you can start the timer to begin the 14 day Wellspring Library event. So let's get started on that now. Check out my guide to Sim Springs video for more information on how this event works in general. In this video, we'll just be focusing on Wellspring Library. If you complete this 14 day event, you'll unlock the grand prize, which is the Wellspring Library house template and other items too, including windows, doors, lights, those gorgeous bay window seats and those amazing stairs that have the bookshelves in them. If you manage to complete days 9 to 14, each within 24 hours each, you will also unlock the extra zesty prizes which include outfits for female adult sims, a chimney, two clothes lines and two mystery keys. Let's get started on this event. So the time for this event is 14 days rather than 10 like the other three lots. So let's start on day one. The tasks for day one are place 10 bookshelves at Wellspring Library, check in with Johnny Zest, take in surroundings using a tree and dispose of six trash bags. You'll find Johnny at Wellspring Library to complete the check-in task. As this is the early access version, I'll just be speeding through these with social points. This is not my actual game. In my actual game, I'll be completing it properly. For the next task, I need to take in my surroundings from a tree. There's no room to place a tree on this community lot, so I'm going to head to a different house and place the three star tree there. I'll just remove one of these palm trees and place the maple tree at our departments, like so, and then we can complete the task here. So you can complete any of the tasks throughout Sim Springs, so any of the Sandy Suburb neighbourhood houses you can complete these tasks at. There are six trash cans here, so we can have six sims complete this at the same time. You can only complete one task at a time unless it's a building task. These can be completed at the same time as another task. So while my sims are clearing away the trash bags, I can add six other bookshelves to the library because I need ten in total. You 
You can skip all these tasks individually with social points, or you can click the skip all button at the bottom of the task list to skip them all. This method is cheaper than skipping them individually. So that completes day one. Completing day one earns us free LP. We can wait 24 hours to begin the next day, or we can start early using social points. The tasks for day two are place 12 doors at Wellspring Library, check in with Johnny Zest, suggest a library to Johnny Zest, study SimCity using a computer, and throw out four old lanterns. You can find both the check-in option and suggest the library on Johnny Zest. We can study SimCity using a computer. There are four old lanterns around the library. You can have four sims here to clear up these lanterns all at the same time. And finally, we need to complete the place 12 doors at Wellspring Library task. There's already seven doors here, so we just need to place five more to complete this. If you have items in your inventory, you can use those to complete these tasks. You don't need to buy them, especially for this task. And that completes day two. Completing day two earns us 10,000 simoleons. Let's get started on day three now. The tasks for day three are check in with Johnny Zest, ask for opinions using our phone, brainstorm five renovation ideas using dining chairs, find 10 old photographs using five sims, fix two leaky roofs, and invest in Wellspring Library. So on Johnny, you can find the options to check in and invest. The investment options are very similar to the ones in Sim Chase, the mastery classes. The more money you spend, so if you spend social points, the quicker it will take to complete. But as you can see, the cost to complete with social points is the same as it would cost if you skipped from this menu. So I definitely recommend skipping it from there rather than wasting your time completing it after spending the social points on it. There are two leaky roofs that need to be fixed here using two sims. A sim can complete the Ask for Opinions task using a phone. I've added a dining table and chairs so we can complete the brainstorm renovation ideas task. This needs to be completed five times so you need five sims to complete this at the same time. You can also find the find old photographs option on the chairs too. We need to find 10 old photographs using household items such as the couch, bookshelves, computer and dining chair. Quick completing this task will earn you more than if you completed it normally. But I'm just going to skip all and that completes day three. So completing day three earns us four social points. The tasks for day four are place four windows at Wellspring Library, check in with Johnny Zest, take online vote using a computer and recycle five pizza boxes. We can find the option to take online vote using the computer. There are five pizza boxes to recycle so we can have five sims here to complete this at once. And I need to place six windows at Wellspring Library. We already have four so I just need to place two more. And that completes day four. Completing day four earns us four LP. The tasks for day five are check in with Johnny Zest, celebrate success with Johnny Zest, 
pipe up sim springs using a tree, sweep up free cobwebs, write development plan using a dining chair, and invest in Wellspring Library. There's a lot of investing in this event, it's very expensive. This time we can find four options on Johnny. We've got the check-in option, we've got the celebrate success option, and we've also got the two investment options. Again, if you're planning to use the social point option to invest, I'd recommend using the skip button from the menu rather than spending your money and wasting some time, as it will cost you the same. We can write the development plan using a dining chair. We need to head back to our departments to complete the hype up using a tree task, as this is where our maple tree is. Finally, there are three cobwebs here to sweep up, so we can have three sims here to complete this. And that completes day five. Completing day five earns us 11,000 simoleons. Let's get started on day six now. Day six's tasks are place two TVs at Wellspring Library, check in with Johnny Zest, research modern libraries using a computer, read tabloid about Johnny Zest using a magazine, and eat 11 handfuls of comfort food using a fridge. Select the Research and Modern Libraries option on a computer. From the magazine stack you can find the Read Tabloid About the Zest option. For the E11 Handfuls of Comfort Food option you need 11 sims to complete this at the same time. Because you can only have 10 sims in one house at one time, you can only have 10 sims complete this at Wellspring Library, but you can have other sims in other houses in Sandy Suburbs. So you can have a sim in Tumbleweed Terrace, Dusty Dwelling or Arid Apartments to also complete this. Or you can spread them out a little bit further as well, have five sims in one house and six in the other and so on. The last task is to place two TVs, so let's just do that. And let's just skip this task here. And that completes day six. Completing day six earns us five social points. Time to get started on day seven now. Day seven's tasks are place four couches at Wellspring Library, check in with Johnny Zest, plan a bookshelf placement using a dining chair, and find 24 suburban blueprints using 12 sims. We can plan bookshelf placement using a dining chair. You'll also find the option on the chair to find the blueprints. You can find this in household objects such as the couch, bookshelf, chair, etc. As you need 12 sims to complete this at the same time, you can have them spread out again through sandy suburbs. So you can have some in this house and some in a previous house. And if you quick complete it using social points, you will find more blueprints than if you completed it normally. So I'm just placing three more couches to complete the place four couches task. 
And that completes day 7. Completing day 7 earns us 5 LP. Let's get started on day 8 now. So the tasks to complete for day 8 are checking with Johnny Zist, become one with books using a bookshelf, ruminate about Johnny Zist using a dining chair, remember 10 past mistakes using a mirror, find 20 tiny llamas using 10 sims, and invest in Wellspring Library again. Again, you can find the options to check in and invest on Johnny Zest. The option to become one with books can be found on a bookshelf. You can also find the Find Tiny Llamas option on a bookshelf, couch, etc. Again, if you quick complete that one, you will find more. So you can see there we've earned three. We probably would have earned two if we just let it complete on its own. We can ruminate about Johnny Zest using a dining chair. And to remember 10 past mistakes, we need 10 sims to use 10 mirrors to complete this. I'm going to place this mirror from the Captivating Coast Live event, as it is a freestyle mirror and freestyle items allow us to complete these tasks quicker. So 10 sims would need to complete this using 10 mirrors to complete the task. And that completes day 8. Completing day 8 earns us 12,000 simoleons and 1 mystery key. Day 9 is the start of the zest zone, so you need to complete day 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14 within 24 hours each. So day 9 needs to be completed within 24 hours. Day 10 needs to be completed within 24 hours and so on to unlock these extra zesty prizes. You'll still get the main grand prize if you don't complete it within the time, you just won't get the zesty prizes too. Day 9's tasks are place two dining tables at Wellspring Library, check in with Johnny Zest, prepare alphabet soup using a stove, celebrate Sim Springs using a stereo and get 12 second opinions using a phone. From the oven or stove we can prepare the alphabet soup. We can celebrate Sim Springs using a stereo. For the Get Second Opinion task we need 12 sims to complete this using 12 phones. As we can only have 10 sims here, we can have the other two sims completing this task at one of the other three house lots in Sandy Suburbs. The last task is place two dining tables at Wellspring Library. I already have one, so I'm just going to place another one. And that completes day 9. Completing day 9 earns us 5 LP and 8 social points. On to day 10 now. Day 10's tasks are place eight dining chairs at Wellspring Library. Check in with Johnny Zist, update community on progress using a dining chair, ask for book donations using a phone, read Sim Springs history from a bookshelf, and clear 45 sand bunnies using 15 sims. We can update the community on progress using a dining chair. You also find the option to clear sand bunnies from the dining chair. 15 sims can complete this task using household items. So have 10 sims in this house and then 5 sims in one of the other three. And if you quick complete it you'll earn more than if you complete it normally. On the phone we can find the ask for book donations option.
and on a bookshelf we can find the Reed Sim Springs history. Final task we need to place eight dining chairs here. We already have four, so I'm just going to place four more of the same chair. And that completes day 10. Completing day 10 earns us 15,000 social points and one mystery key. Let's get started on day 11 now. Day 11's tasks are place one reception desk at Wellspring Library, check in with Johnny Zest, take selfies with donations using a bookshelf, update social media using a computer, be interviewed on the phone, have a sneaky sleep using a couch, find Sim Springs using a computer, write 17 renovation records using a dining chair and invest in Wellspring Library. There is a lot to do for this day. So on Johnny you find the check-in and investment options. Seventeen Sims need to write renovation record using a dining chair. To do this you need to have ten Sims at the library and then seven other Sims in one of the other lots in Sandy Suburbs. You can find both the Find Sim Springs and Update Social Media options using a computer. You can find the library interview option on a phone. The option to have a sneaky sleep can be found on a couch. And take selfies with donations can be found on a bookcase. Finally, we need to place one reception desk at Wellspring Library. We unlocked one when we completed the Arid Apartments event, so I can find it in my new items section, but you'll probably find it in your living room section. And that completes day 11. Completing day 11 earns us 9 social points and 1 mystery key. On to day 12 now. Day 12's tasks are place 8 plants at Wellspring Library, check in with Johnny Zist, hype up library using a tree, organise books using a bookshelf, discuss pyramid scheme with Johnny Zest, ask about Sim Springs using a phone and clear 76 safety checks using 19 Sims. We can find the options to check in and discuss pyramid scheme on Johnny Zest. The option to ask about Sim Springs can be found on a phone. On a bookcase we can find the option to organise books and also the complete safety checks option. The complete safety checks option can be found on several household items. 19 sims can complete this at once, so have 10 sims here and 9 sims in another house in Sandy Suburbs. We're going to head back to Arid Apartments where I've left that tree so I can complete the Hype Up Library task. And finally, we need to place eight plants at Wellspring Library. I'm just going to place these barreled flowers as they are 500 simoleons each.
And that completes day 12. Completing day 12 earns us 20,000 simoleons and 6 LP. The tasks to complete on day 13 are place 12 lights at Wellspring Library, check in with Johnny Zist, clean up outside using a plant, clean up indoors using a kitchen sink, admire handiwork on a bookshelf, ask about Wellspring Library with Johnny Zist, take an exhausted nap using a couch, take library photos using a bookshelf, upload 19 plans using a computer and clear 76 discarded lemon zests. Ooh, that was a lot to say and a lot to do. The options to check in with Johnny and ask about Wellspring Library can both be found on Johnny Zist. Select the option from a couch to have an exhausted nap. We can also find the clear zests option on the couch, bookcase, etc. On household items, you'll find that option. 19 sims can complete this at one time, so have 10 sims here and 9 sims in another house in Sim Springs. On a bookcase you'll find the options to admire handiwork and take library photos. The upload plans task can be found on a computer. 19 sims need to complete this, so you'll need 19 computers spread out through Sim Springs. Let's place a kitchen sink to be able to complete the clean up indoors task. And we can clean up outdoors using a plant, so one of the plants we bought earlier will come in handy for that. And finally, we need to place 12 lights at Wellspring Library. I'm just going to place this small light, just so we can fit in as many as possible. And that completes day 13. Completing day 13 earns us 10 LP, 12 social points and 1 mystery key. On to day 14 now, which is the final day. The tasks for day 14 are check in with Johnny Zest, dance with Johnny Zest, declare library open using a bookshelf, update Johnny Zest on progress, renovation conversation using a phone, joke around with Johnny Zest, listen to 21 public opinions using a phone, find 105 missing nails using 21 sims and invest in Wellspring Library. A lot of options can be found on Johnny. We've got the update on progress, celebratory dance, investments, check in and joke around. From a bookcase we can declare the library is open. You'll also find the find missing nails option on a bookcase, a couch, a dining chair etc. Again you'll find that option on many household items. You need to find 105 nails using 21 sims. So again spread them out throughout the houses in sandy suburbs.
There are two options on the phone. You've got the renovation conversation option and listen to public opinions. You need to do the public opinion option 21 times. So you need 21 sims completing this on 21 phones. And that completes day 14, which is the final day. Completing day 14 earns us 50,000 simoleons, 15 LP, 20 social points and free mystery keys. We've completed the event, so we've earned the grand prize house template and other items. Remember, these prizes are available even if you don't manage to complete in the time limit, but you still complete the event. The house template can be found on a standard and a premium residence under the driveway homes tab. If you build it in Simtown, you can build it as a normal house template, so you'll be able to add Sims to that house. Check out my Wellspring Library house tour video for more information. We also managed to complete the zest zone in the time limit. If you manage that, you'll be able to find the outfits in a wardrobe and create a sim for female adult sims. The chimney can be found in the chimneys and fireplaces section and the clotheslines can be found in the outdoor furniture section. Once all four house slots are complete, you might think the event is over, but it isn't. We still have neighborhood prizes to unlock which will all be explained in my final Sim Springs Sandy Suburbs video. But for now, that was how to complete the Wellspring Library event on the Sims Freeplay. If you found this video helpful, please like it and please subscribe to my channel. I regularly post Sims Freeplay videos. I also have a blog, the Gomes at Blog, and on there you can find loads of posts about the Sims Freeplay, including my guide to Sim Springs Sandy Suburbs post. Thanks for watching. Bye!